Well, welcome back to the Queen Elizabeth Youth Centre here in Tauranga, New Zealand. Things are really hotting up now. It's uh, day four of the event and we see eight quarter-final matches, which you can view live here with full commentary over the next eight hours. It's been a phenomenal event so far here in New Zealand and day by day the atmosphere is becoming more and more electric. So we're settled in for uh, eight big matches back to back and uh, we've been delighted to uh, to see the figures coming in viewers from over 60 countries tuned in over 50,000 people watching which is absolutely fantastic so it's no surprise to see uh, exactly 50% of the uh, players in action today from the powerhouse that is Egypt eight players across the men's and women's quarterfinals although there is only one of those matches is going to be an Egyptian head-to-head -head. so as we stand only one guaranteed Egyptian in the semi-final stage and those eight players are joined by two Malaysians two players from the United States a Jordanian one Japanese player one Indian and the man to the left of your screen right now Victor Cruin of France so it's been um, a long time coming this event in New Zealand a huge amount of preparation has gone into it and the players, coaches and officials are having an absolute whale of a time in the wonderful country that is New Zealand so the match, match up to get us underway it's the higher seeded player Victor Cruin of France comes into this event as a 3-4 uh, seed he's actually does actually have a world ranking of number two, um, which makes him the French number one. 18 years of age. He's going to be really uh, keen to excel at this event. Did play last year and reached the round of 16, so he's already gone one better than that this year. Put in a solid performance yesterday against Darren Rahul, of Malaysia. And now a 11-6, uh, 11-6, 11-6, 11-love victory there. In contrast, his opponent in the burgundy sweater there is Ali Hussein. He toppled one of the seeded players yesterday. Didn't see him in action on the glass court. He was at the uh, Devoy Centre. So this is his first outing on the glass. But a big win for him yesterday. Winning 11-3, 8-11, 11-7, 4-11, 11-3 to book himself his quarter-final spot today. So we're certainly looking forward to what the next eight hours hold. And I'm Paul Hornsby. I'm going to be with you for the next eight hours. And joining me will be various co-commentators for this opening match once again. Great to have uh, another former New Zealand national coach in the commentary box, Dave Clark. Afternoon, Dave. Afternoon, Paul. Uh, really looking forward to uh, this first match-up in the quarterfinals. I think. Uh, coming down to the uh, pointy end of the event and uh, uh, we've uh, obviously uh, I don't know if you can hear obviously you can hear the support that's out there and the or we can see the, the, guy in, uh, the guy in white there is, is very kindly brought his drum along with him all the way from Egypt absolutely fantastic yeah we're gonna see some uh, you know hopefully we're gonna see some fantastic entertainment <laughs> on and off the court today so he's loving every second of this is it, I think that's the guy that's just came and introduced himself to us, isn't it, Clark? Yes, it is, yes. He's loving it. Loving himself. Uh, loving himself, but loving the uh, atmosphere, rather. So the, uh, the Frenchman, Victor Cruin, Clark, he looked uh, in fine form yesterday in his match. Very, very strong, didn't he, across, uh, especially in his uh, movement across the middle area of the court. A lot of uh, great lateral movement, good volleying. Loved to take the ball in short, so... Uh, yes, it was, was yeah, very impressive uh, where he's been the last couple of days. I think yesterday, they, I think both players started off the first three or four rallies were a bit... Uh, 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 they took a moment to, to get, hit their strides, but once Victor hit his strides there, 
you know, he really took charge of that game and obviously won the, won the third there, 11 love. So it's very impressive then. Yeah, he's uh, definitely got plenty of experience behind him. So it's, uh, in his final year of his junior career, he's, he's, uh, he's done a lot of stuff. Into the last, this is actually his third World Championships. Last year, was a very strong French team last year, actually, in, in Poland. They had, uh, they had a cracking group of, uh, of boys, obviously. Three of those have uh, now become seniors, so this is a big opportunity for Victor Cruin. He's going to have to get it right again today because his opponent can never rule out uh, the Egyptian players and tend to uh, cause a few ripples in the draw. Yes, and uh, a good result yesterday against uh, the Indian uh, Radiovan. Uh, good result in five, and I think he won the fifth reasonably comfortably as well. 11-3. Sort of, yeah, 11-3, so he's obviously hitting a bit of form at the right time. short line again. Yes. There's three volleys in a row there from the Frenchman. Looking to really turn the screw early on. Yeah, for someone that's maybe not, not one of the taller guys, he's uh, he seems to uh, get across there pretty well. Well, I think we alluded to this yesterday, the, uh, the great Thierry Linku. Uh, blessed with height, but he was an incredible mover on the court, especially in, in that lateral uh, department. Perhaps there's a bit of influence there in the uh, in the French coach, coaching philosophy. Profile Victor Cruin is listed as uh, coaches as his father is one of his uh, one of his coaches and of course Renan Levine who's uh, doing a fantastic job as the French national coach nowadays Becoming a real powerhouse in the world of squash. That's a superb blend. Well, he's looking good on there so far, Clarky. Yes, he's definitely started uh, stronger than he did yesterday. He's just started a little bit uh, nervy yesterday, but uh, he's hitting his straps very quickly. Well, he can. Uh, there's, there's uh, no doubt about his um, how much energy he sort of uh, spent yesterday. He's got no excuse to not be completely fresh, really, coming into this quarter-final match. He was one of the first matches on court yesterday, and it was pretty straightforward so he's got maximum recovery time and least amount of physical uh, physical work put in and for Ali as well first time on the glass it just might take a second or two for him to find his length and find the, get the feel of the court under match play circumstances range with that one, catching the nick on the uh, cross court. Oh, well, that's a great finish. Oh, oh, oh. That's nice. Five, three. Bit of an obscure place to return serve from <laughs> inside, but improvised beautifully. Again. 
really very positive in his short game so far, the Frenchman. Not only did we see him volley very well yesterday, we also saw him use quite a bit of variety, didn't we, across the, the short lines. Volley drops are very clinical, mixed with the odd volley boast. Very effective. But the Egyptian's still in touch. So, um, to soak up per pressure here. Oh, body shot. <laughs> Great thinking in that situation. It's clever. Well, never, sh never short of inventive squash, are they, the Egyptian no. players? I think, I think they invented it. <laughs> <laughs> Invention. <laughs> Always entertaining to watch, that's for sure. He's turned this first game around very well here, Hussein. Certainly getting into it. He's getting pretty emotional out there. Hopefully he's not going to peak too soon. Yeah, quick error from the crew in there. It's a momentum shift. Play a profile in front of us, Dave. But uh, interested to know how old the Egyptian is. Yeah. He's, uh, as you say, he's come through unseeded, so we don't have a uh, huge amount of information on him. But I suspect he's one of the younger. Yes, yeah, you sense that. He's not phased by the occasion, though. Uh, right now, is he? Yeah. I think that's what sets the Egyptian players apart, is the, the fearless nature in which they play the game. thing that uh, Victor Cruyne's not going to want to give Hussein is any sort of time or angles to work with on the ball. Uh, look at times here. Cruyne's sometimes dominating these rallies but uh, Hussein's defending well and then taking his opportunities when they've been on. for a stroke there. Yeah, he was cleared the ball pretty quickly, didn't he? Victor Cruyn. Oh, that's nice. Long range drop. Seen plenty of that this week. Yeah, I think that was just a bit uh, just to get that ball running away from him enough there. These are huge points now, Dave. Both players will be very eager to get the first game on the board. Yeah, you sense the crew yeah. That's fantastic oh. work there. Really exaggerated with his body language, showed the cross court. Managed to straighten out nicely into that deep backhand corner. Back corner, girls. Back corner, girls. 
please, please it back on. Sense that crew in here doesn't want to let uh, the Sane sneak this first and give him any more confidence than he no. already has. No, I want to be uh, trying to take the wind out of his sails and you know build, get the momentum and keep building on it, like he did yesterday. Really, like he, he sort of seemed to grow in terms of his confidence and his domination of the court as the as the match went on. Uh, Ali keeps using that inside ball. It's catching Victor out a little bit, isn't he? A few times there. Yeah, it's an awkward area, isn't it, to um, to deal with? But it's one of those shots. If uh, the opponent does read it, it can backfire fairly. Uh, yes. In a big way. So Ali's still struggling a little here. The dead leg. Fifteen minutes. Wow. So becoming a bit disrupted on that after uh, a very nip and tuck first game. So a little bit of uh, stoppage to play. I don't think this is something that um, Victor Kroon would have wanted to, uh, to sort of see happen here. Clarky played a couple of big points there, and after that rally, where um, Hussein dived for the ball and, and uh, drew Victor Kroon back to eight all, he really looked to, uh, to be pumped up by that and probably felt like he'd got the momentum back. So. This is going to test Victor Cruin now in terms of his uh, his focus and must stay positive and, and of course warm as well. If it's going to be a 15 minute break, that's uh, especially in this uh, the arena that we're in, it's not very warm in here. So he's, he's going to have to manage his time and his emotions pretty carefully here. Yes, I think uh, it's called that as uh, a contributed injury under 14.3.2. Oh yeah, for all of those rules aficionados at home. <laughs> so the injured players permitted 15 oh, back minutes on. to recover. Well, that, that was a quick 15 minutes. That was, so easy. It can be extended by a further 15 minutes at the discretion of the ref, but it's only taken a, a minute and a half here, so. Uh, a bit of a chat going on between the players. That's right. Victor didn't look that interested, did he? <laughs> he just wants to get back to business. Said he's not uh, he's not sure of experience. Victor Cruin have uh, no doubt come up against this kind of situation before on his travels in junior and senior squash. So we're back in. All tied at eight all in this first game. on a fishing trip for a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> very very Kiwi-like that, to be fair. But uh, refs weren't, uh, weren't uh, having any of it. Yes, sir. It's got to be a bit careful though, crewing. That's a couple of uh, straight balls that have really squirted out to the middle of the court. 
Yeah. So say the last thing that you want to give uh, an Egyptian player is angle to work with. You tend to be so quick with the hands and quick with the brain as well that rally can be over before you've blinked. Yeah, just a little bit of. Uh, Bit of traffic in the middle of the court these last few rallies. It's going to be a stroke though. Facial expressions on there, Clarky. <laughs> if the squash isn't entertaining enough, then uh, then that uh, certainly is adding to it. Yes, I think it's going to be a little bit of an owl impression from Ali there after that uh, <laughs> last decision. Although uh, Victor Cruin is the ice man. No facial, no changing facial expression from him, one way or another. Focused on the job at hand. That's great length. Great length. Two game balls for the Frenchman. Yes, <laughs> I sense that the referees are going to have a. Uh, they're going to be earning the money in this match, Clarky. Yes, I think so. We've got the uh, three referee system uh, in operation today. So uh, uh, we've got uh, Nathan Turnbull as the central referee with the uh, Yogi Singh. Muhammad Baez is the right leg referee. So. Plenty of experience in the chairs. Yes. Oh, that was not the best shot selection there from the Frenchman. Really know why he sent that ball deep. His opponent was really scrambling out the back corner, and it's a simple drop shot could have been the order of the day there. Still holds two game balls though. Egyptian here. Got him under the cosh, but that's a great lift from uh, the Saint. Got himself back in the rally. And there's that inside ball again. Dave, what you're talking about. That's right. Might like in one of my doubles teams. <laughs> there's a chance. No, it's not a good enough drop shot from the Frenchman. Maybe slightly tentative. There it is. You can see what that means to Victor Cruin after a, a slightly disrupted first game there. It's the higher seed that comes out on top, takes the first game 11-8.
Clarkey. That was uh, had a bit of a entertainment in it that first game. It was a bit, uh, relieved to see that we didn't have to endure a 15 minute break when uh, Hussein went off. Yeah, that's right. Really likes to see that, do they? And, uh, they allow you to get another coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting, um, you know, we've had a little bit of uh, excitement in this match uh, around the middle of the court there, and I believe um, uh, the Sage match yesterday there was a, a similar uh, kind of uh, situations occurring as well, so uh, you know, it's, uh, correlation there maybe. Yeah, um, I would imagine that Victor Cruins coaching team all have been telling him you know, the importance of, uh, of tightness uh, down the side walls and, and really sort of eliminating any sort of traffic issues through the mid, mid area. Yeah, just felt that Cruen got a little bit better length in that length of width those last couple of rallies. Yeah. And then we, when he's getting the length and the width, we don't get the uh, traffic issues. That's a really quick two-wall boast there. It's not Hussain. And that's the sort of thing that Cruz has got to be careful of. He's got away with a let there, but in the sidewall and his straight stuff is not designed to uh, to help him. Yeah, well he's just going to have to Try and ensure that he keeps making a big effort to go and get some of those. As a rest, so we're getting a few no lets. So this is the type of squash that the Frenchman wants. See, he's, he's just in complete control of the mid-court area there. You know, five or six shots in the rally, three or four volleys. Keep the uh, Egyptian player behind him with nothing to, nothing to really feed off. Yeah, he was just scampering, wasn't he, in the back court, uh, Ali, in that rally? You're a poet and you know it, Clarkey. <laughs> This is a great, a great few rallies from the Frenchman. Very tidy, getting the pace up, really keeping the uh, same at arm's length. Yeah, it's a fantastic kick by Ali in the middle of that uh, rally, but uh, crew and dominating. Length and width has been a lot better from Cruen and Taz, yeah, just cutting kind out of the traffic issue. <laughs> He's got him once, he got him first time, didn't he, on that body shot? And it's the type of thing that uh, is clever to use, but perhaps a little bit more sparingly. Six one, so. The daylight between himself and Hussein on the scoreboard. Yeah, that's nice. So difficult to read, very quick, sort of windy swing there to just stun the ball in short. Yeah, so he's got a, that sort of quite a low carry, hasn't he, Ali, with his racket? Watch him in between strikes. His uh, racket's hanging down by his feet quite a lot. Really right by his feet now. Again, two wall 
boast. Yeah, just open the court up a little bit in this last few rallies. Victor Cruin. Keep on saying a couple of opportunities to, to show his racket skills and his jumped on those. Yeah, well he got in front a little bit there, he got a few more volleys uh, coming from, from his racket in that, uh, that rally there. is Clarky. The obvious thing to talk about is when it gets to 10 all but when you're 6-1 up and your opponents come back to 3-6, that's yeah. that's a big point for me. You know, big difference between 4-6 and 7-3. We talk obviously a lot about momentum in uh, some of these matches and we've seen it this week already. Momentum swings and momentum shifts where runs of points are going. And uh, you really don't want to be from that position of comfort or relative comfort. Suddenly finding yourself four, five, six. Doesn't need asking twice, does he? No, Crew just flicked that sort of half volley kind of nothing shot up really, didn't he? And then it got what it deserved. Oh, fortunate bounce, I think. Couldn't have come at a better time really for the Frenchman. Yeah, to put his hand up to sort of say sorry, but he was smiling at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he'd want to play a lap, put it that way. But no, he wasn't going to give that back, was he? <laughs> it's tight. Great work down this backhand side from both players. Yes, forced him to have a, a swipe at the ball there. The ball was glued onto the side wall. Yeah, he's got that low, low really low carry. And uh, see uh, there as he was into it a little bit late, just opened the face. Just uh, lost control of the ball. Well, the Frenchman's on a real mission now. It's been very solid for the, uh, for the majority of the second game, and he's deserving of his six game balls right now. Oh, what a way to finish it. A cracking shot to, uh, to finish the game there from Victor Cruin. He's starting to look more and more in control of this first men's quarterfinal. He finds himself a two love lead.
while the um, Frenchman Victor Cruin has managed to get more and more control of this match as it's gone on. Managed to uh, silence the the drummer. <laughs> yes. Yes, the drums have felt silent actually as, as it's progressed. 15 seconds. It's been a good performance so far from this, from this man. Oh, here we go. Just as we say that they started back up. Yes. Well, it's a great, uh, a great addition to the atmosphere in here. I'm sure the drums are probably going to need a bit of a, uh, a service by the end of uh, today because there is an Egyptian feature in every, all but one of the matches, actually. So uh, hopefully that guy's going to hang around and keep uh, left in the crowd. Always great to see the, uh, you know, the Egyptian support. There must be it's a dozen of them here. Yes, yeah. And that's not including the players. So uh, great to see them all here in New Zealand. Here, just trying to find a way into this match. Great, great, job. Yeah. great two or both set. Looking to close this out in three sets, and if he can do, like he'd um, really see himself sitting nicely in the semi finals. Yeah, a huge amount of work under his belt. Quality of squash has played over the last two days. Yes, sure. the galley's quite done yet, but uh, I think uh, yeah, Victor uh, does get through that uh, energy conservation. Handy. Just got to serve uh, Victor's much more structured, isn't he, in the way that he's. Uh, Contrast in styles. Uh, you know, Victor sort of stands out as a slight, slightly more structured than, than obviously the way the, the, the Egyptians are playing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Dave. Yeah. Massive contrast in style. But, uh, obviously, both very effective. about to return serve and somebody stood at the door. Ah, 
That's very nice. Perfectly weighted, judge the angle beautifully. Always dipping and dropping away from the Egyptian to that front right corner. Two point cushion for the Frenchman. Superb squash. Yeah, great finish. Kept pressing and pressing. Opportunity popped up and he was onto it like a flash. Didn't use that side wall well there, but this is a chance. Yeah, it's constant pressure now from, from Victor Cruin. Saints starting to look a little bit ragged. Yeah, saying in that, Cruin's had a bit of joy from that front right corner, hasn't he, in a number of ways. Uh, saying sometimes hasn't, hasn't looked to defend from there. He's still trying to play something off it and, uh, rather than uh, look to use the lob and reset the rally yeah. occasionally. Yeah. As he gets a bit older and a bit more experienced, that'll come. Uh, Fantastic work. Starting to sense the finishing line, I think. They're really flying now, the Frenchman. Another break in play, presumably a broken string. Okay. Oh, no. Did he come off court then? No, he's still on there. Must have played with the door handle. Uh, from, uh, can't quite see him from this view. Yep, he's still there. Searching for something there that needed to be inch perfect if it was going to be effective. Kruin was already onto it. So within two points of a semi final spot. It's funny, the uncharacteristic error has come just when he's seen the winning post. Mm. Well, he's used it effectively, isn't he? Yesterday and today, the sidewall. Yes. And uh, just putting it in on that one, but back in control now. Six match balls for Victor Cruin. There it is. Very relieved Frenchman there. Another. Very, very solid performance by uh, Victor Cruin, who finds himself through to the semi-final. First semi-finalist confirmed in this Men's World Junior Championships. We'll be delighted to get off court in three games. Dave, thoughts on that? Yeah, I think very, very impressive. He's looked impressive all week. Um, but I think uh, probably expected him to have us maybe a little bit more of a test today. But uh, 
obviously through to the semi-finals and, and reasonably fresh. But uh, certainly tomorrow uh, things will get uh, much more testing. So, uh, but yeah, very good performance. Fantastic. Well, that um, brings us to the end of that first quarter-final. Join us again in 10 minutes' time for the first women's semi-final of the day. See you then.